I'm going to show you examples of each one of the four types of passive income. And I'll give you a couple of examples in most cases. So first off, we're looking at creating content and then receiving ad revenue. So first example here is on YouTube. We have Casey Neistat here, a huge blogger. He has like 8 million subscribers. And if you look through here, most of his videos have about a million plus views. So even like this one here has 1.7 million views just from a week ago. So if we take a look at his video here, we'll see an ad will probably pop up initially. Uh, maybe not in this case, but a lot of times ads will pop up. So that is the situation here. So Casey gets tons of views and actually a ridiculous amount of interaction. There are over 3000 comments here, which is just, it's overwhelming. But anyway, he gets enough views where he makes really good money on his ads. So that is an area where you can make money. Next, we could take a look at a blog. So same situation. This is a hundred days of real food. This is a blog about eating healthy, eating real food. And she wrote a book. The site's been around for quite a while. And I think it was like a New York Times bestseller. So she has a suite of products. But one thing I want to point out, she gets so much traffic, she actually gets a pretty good amount of revenue from ads. So you can see down here, there is a Google AdSense banner down there. And as we scroll down, we'll see there are other ads. So here's a banner over here on the left, or sorry, the right side. And then we have another banner here and another banner here. And you see the point, there's ads all over the place. And she even has sponsors that, you know, they have a banner that they pay her each month for. So this is just, you know, producing good content that people are really interested in and you can make money from ad revenue. You can do it on YouTube, you can do it on a blog. Now, the thing is for this to work, you do have to have a lot of traffic. So in both cases, like Casey, he's getting millions of views per month. He's getting a lot of views. This site here, 100 Days of Real Food, I'm not sure of the traffic numbers, but I know because of, you know, one, the age of the site, other research that I've done that this site gets a lot of traffic as well. So let's move on to the second part, which is affiliate marketing and affiliate marketing specifically with Amazon. So we're going to look at video influencers here. So these guys are great. This is uh, Sean Connell and the other guy's name is Benji. That's right. Benji Travis and Sean Cannell. Good guys. And they make a lot of videos. I've actually learned quite a bit by watching their videos. And cool thing that they do is they'll recommend products. So this video here, they actually have an ad rolling here. We'll, we'll let it fly here for a second so we can get into the video. But they talk about the top five vlogging cameras. So they have Amazon affiliate links in their description. So they're experts in the, in the field and they're making good money by just recommending cameras on things that they're experts in. They get a ton of views just in general that it actually have a lot of subscribers as well in the you know, 200 to 300,000 subscriber range, but they have, you know, over 600,000 views on this video and people are interested in buying cameras, which cost hundreds of dollars. So if someone clicks over from here, they, these guys, uh, Sean and Benji would get an Amazon affiliate commission. This is the like video version, but you could also do this on a blog. And that's usually what I do, by the way. I, I have blogs, SEO traffic comes in. And this is the wire cutter, uh, one of those big sites that it's actually now owned by the New York Times, which you can see here. And they review products and then they send people over to Amazon and sometimes other affiliate programs. So here's one on the best receiver. And we could see that there's a link here over to Amazon, like really quick. And this is a very thorough review and there's many opportunities to get over to Amazon by clicking these links. Next, we're gonna go to affiliate marketing and just generally digital products and services and stuff like that. And as per our process, we're gonna take a look at a YouTube version first. So this is Hayden Petal, who is a you know up and comer, and he's reviewing Tanner Fox's Amazon FBA course. And you know, he reviews the course here. 
Hayden's taken the course, he's finding success with it, and he is a an affiliate, right? So he says it's biased and, and he has the link here. So it's pretty straight up and you know, you could do this for courses, you can do it for hosting packages or whatever. There's a lot of different options here as far as affiliate services and specific digital products. Again, you don't have to do this stuff in the YouTube world. You can do it in the blog. So we're going to go back to Smart Passive Income. Again, uh, one of my mentors from afar, just through all the great material that Pat Flynn puts out. I've learned a ton from him. And this is one of his you know, great affiliate marketing situations here, right? So this is one of the best ways to do affiliate marketing. You recommend products that you know Pat says he's tested every recommendation on the page and some of them are crucial to running his business. So he is recommending stuff out of firsthand experience, one of the best ways to be an affiliate. He mentions, of course, that some of these are affiliate links below and he gives a disclaimer, which is good to do. And I think actually in this case, it boosts his conversions because Pat's just a nice guy. So again, classic example is hosting. So Bluehost is who Pat works with. And, you know, even to this day, Pat makes a lot of money as an affiliate for Bluehost. And he recommends lead pages, convert kit, Sam cart, other products that he uses and that he believes in. So you can do this with a blog or with YouTube as per the usual. So next thing we're going to get into is selling your own products. Of course, this is quite diverse, but we're going to go straight into courses. So Digital Marketer, one of the you know best sort of educational platforms out there. I actually was a student of theirs for a couple of high-end courses as well as their Digital Marketer Lab. So if you take a look at Digital Marketer and products, you'll see they have a number of products here if you want to get into you know paid traffic, social media conversions for funnels and actually there's dozens of them if you if you dig deep there's there's a lot of courses you could take from them and these are super high quality courses they give you all the templates and stuff like that and of course one of the benefits is you know once you create a course you can sell it again and again of course digital marketer has a huge staff of people so it's not easy to create this many courses but they have experts in many different areas, and these are great courses. The margins are, of course, quite high on a digital product like this. The other one that I'll point out, or one of the other ones I'll point out for your own product, is a membership site. So this is the Tropical MBA. They have a membership site. It's kind of a sort of a private mastermind group called the Dynamite Circle. So Tropical MBA, if you haven't heard of them, this is one of my favorite podcasts. I cut back on a lot of podcasts, but this is one that I still listen to. Dan and Ian are fantastic, uh, really well-produced, really smart guys, and they, they're they practitioners. They are not just uh, you know out there regurgitating information. So the thing is with the DC, they have a very unique set of people that they can introduce you to. Again, they talk about the, the peers that you are able to meet in e-commerce, marketing, consulting, and a lot of other location independent type jobs. They help you get into a mastermind. They add a lot of value. They also have local meetups. They have global meetups and they actually have pretty big, I mean, really their conferences in Barcelona, Bangkok, and I think they have one in Austin as well pretty often. So this is sort of a classic example of a membership site where they offer really high end value. And, you know, the other thing that I didn't mention before is like their podcast has been around for several years and it's very, very good. So, you know, this sort of a membership site Not easy to replicate, but if you have the right, I guess, relationship with your community, it's totally possible and it can be really defensible because if you have the ability to create such a community, then you have a lot of value that other people can't just, you know, easily replicate. And the one last thing that I'll mention around your own products is Zippy Courses. So this is put out by Social Triggers. I actually use Zippy Courses and... It's a fantastic piece of software. 
it's a plugin that you can use with WordPress that basically helps you launch an online course and facilitate. It's basically a learning management system that sits on top of WordPress. That's a better way to say it. This platform is way better than any of the other learning platforms that I've used. I you know, took a course on courses called Seven Figure Courses, which was put out by Social Triggers. That's when I started using Zippy Courses. And the thing is, it's so valuable that I'm happy to you know, pay the fees to use this you know, multi-hundred dollar online course platform. It's, it's great. Like It solves a painful problem. And the thing is, the critical thing is, the founder of Social Triggers, Derek Halpern, he has courses. So he he knows the pain of having to set up a course and dealing with all the sort of integrations that you may have to, to work with. So again, this is solving a real problem for real people. And you know, it's supporting people that are running businesses and course businesses, online course businesses. So highly valuable. Again, a situation where you create the software and you can sell it really an unlimited number of times as long as you can you know, support the customers and as long as you can maintain the product. So these are my four ideas around passive income and several examples of real life in the wild, both on YouTube and on blogs. Again, there are many ways to do these sort of things. And I do mention online courses. I do have an online course. I have some specific thoughts on the actual ability to have a passive income using a course. And it may be a little different than what you think. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts about online courses, be sure to check out that video. It should come up uh, right here. Thanks.